year. All right, I'm trying something different. I'm gonna start trying to use my time more wisely so I can get more videos out and things like that. Because typically, I try to set up a plan to make a video for YouTube, and it doesn't typically go the way that I want it to go. Either it's too much background noise or I get roped into something else. So I'm going to try something else different. It's kind of quiet out here. I'm at work. I know y'all could probably see the sign, but I do work at Walmart. But working at Walmart has given me a topic or a taboo word that I feel like people don't use anymore. So I'm going to make this video short, but I need y'all to like this video, share this video up, and comment down in the comment section what you think about this topic or taboo word. So I'm going to give y'all 10 seconds while y'all watch my intro. This means, ho. <laughs> you know Alright, so the word that I'm going to be talking about today is a word that shall not be named or that I feel like shall not be named. I honestly think it stems from an interpersonal communication issue that a lot of people have. The ability just to not be able to hold a conversation in person or just hold a conversation in general. Some people just can't hold the conversation. Yes, I look like a highlighter. Typically what you're gonna see me working in or as, cause this is my work sweater. And before y'all start roasting me, your mama like it. But uh <laughs> but yeah like it's a issue that people have with this said word. I don't understand. I really won't ever understand but the word that shall not be named the word that people try to avoid the word is excuse me and i don't think a lot of people use that word enough somebody will sooner rather sit there for 20 minutes in a rush than to say excuse me take the 30 seconds that they need to grab an item or pass the person and then be mad when they have to wait too long. Some people are just indecisive. Humans are indecisive. So if you don't use the word excuse me to get what you need or get what you see that you may need or get around somebody, then you're going to be standing there waiting for a very long time. Like I said, I do work at Walmart. So this happens to me a lot where people either will just reach past me and won't say nothing or literally stand there for 10 minutes while I'm setting up an area or cleaning out an area or they will walk all the way to Jerusalem just to come all the way back and I'm sitting there like hello motherfucker so I feel like Using the word excuse me can, one, alleviate a lot of the issues that we have as far as coming into contact with people. I know COVID has people, you know, six feet and all that, this, that, and the third, but that will help. That will help avoiding people, avoiding unnecessary contact. Because if you say excuse me, then the person takes a couple steps back, you grab what you need, or you walk past them, or whatever the case may be. Or even if it's just to get their attention, to, to possibly ask them something, that will work. That will work 100% of the time. So a lot of people, now nah, I've asked people this question, and a lot of them go, well, what is the best tone to say excuse me? Uh, nigga, your regular voice? Your regular voice will work just fine. If you say excuse me, you don't have to be rude about it. A lot of people say excuse me. And they rude for no reason. Just say excuse me. Because some people don't notice your presence. Some people don't feel your presence. Some people be in their own head and won't realize what they're doing. If you say excuse me and somebody gets an attitude because you said excuse me, it's, they're the one with the communication issue. They can't just step to the side. Still, 
say excuse me, go by, or grab what you need to grab, and that's it. You don't have to be rude when you say excuse me. A lot of people be like, well, I said excuse me, but you said excuse me with an attitude. When you could have simply just said excuse me in your normal talking voice, and you won't have that issue. Nobody don't have to try to beat you in the head with a card or something. So, with that being said, I feel like the word excuse me is one of the most taboo words for me in America. Because people just don't like to say it. Like, people say please. People say thank you. People say you're welcome. People say hello. But the simple, like, five to 30 second exchange of excuse me, getting what you need or going by is one of the most, one of the most avoided situations. And I don't understand why I have no problem saying, excuse me. If I need something to grab, if the person doesn't hear me, I'll go, excuse me. They don't hear me again. Then I go a little bit up. Excuse me. If they don't hear me again, excuse me. By that time, they should be able to hear me. My voice is loud enough. Uh, my voice is deep enough so that they can hear me. I shouldn't have any issues with saying, excuse me, nor should any of you. Yeah, so that's why I'm going to end the video. I feel like excuse me should be a word that we use more often now than any time just to avoid unnecessary contact, just to avoid un being in people's personal bubbles. Yeah, excuse me. I'm going to need y'all help here subscribers followers families i'ma need y'all to like these videos i'ma need y'all to share these videos we finally got to 1k i'm trying to get to 2k videos before my birthday on the 27th not 2k videos 2k subscribers before my birthday on the 27th i'm also pushing for the 4,000 hour view time so i can get my partner going i do stream on my youtube i'm typically streaming daily for at least a couple hours so any amount of view time will help if you watch the video and you know even if you only watch half the video and you got something to do that's fine with me i just need your view time i need your eyeballs i need your ears just to get this ball rolling so once again thank you for watching peace and hair grease i love y'all